it has been such a good year for peas. And I keep saying these sweet magnolia peas are yummy. But I think I even like the sugar snap peas even better. But I'll continue to grow both of them because I love the purple color on them. And they're yummy too. So today I'm going to show you a tour of my food forest. We are at the beginning of July and I don't have any fresh tomatoes yet. But it looks pretty good out here and I want to show you. Hi, I'm Jane. I love to garden. Let me show you inside my food forest in my backyard. Let's see what's ready to be harvested and tasted and what's growing. Come along. It's gonna be yummy. Things are starting to grow. I've got these peas behind me that I've talked about a little bit already. They are so yummy. Let me turn this around and I'll show you my food forest. This weather is so nice out here. It's wonderful. The beans are starting to climb. And the peas still look good back here, but they're stopping in the front yard, so they must get more shade back here. I don't want pea season to end. We're in July and I'm still getting peas back here. This bed always makes me really happy and since it's in a little bit of shade right now I can tell you all about it. I've got some beets, marigolds, and different tomatoes that I've labeled with these really cool sticks. This is a geranium from seed. Look how gorgeous that looks. Oh my goodness. I did have one die. Here's a tree seed I'm going to pull out. I have some beans taking over. And some tomatoes and more beets. And the peas that are so fun and yummy. And we have beans climbing the trellis too. And then down here I have cucumbers starting. And I might have some melons that I put in here also. And then if we come over just a little bit more... I've got some more tomatoes. These are a mono orange. I love a mono orange tomatoes. Here's some marigolds that are getting as tall. They're going to be as tall as my tomatoes. Marigolds in this mess. I have some peppers, but I don't know if they're doing as well. Let's see if we can find ourselves a pepper. I do put things pretty close because I'm in a arid climate. So I don't have to worry about, there's one, there's a pepper. This pepper is looking healthy. It says a lipstick pepper, but it's just growing tall. It's not really growing bushy at all. But what I was saying is I don't deal with powdery mildew and stuff like 
some other states do. And I also, I'm always um, fudging the requirements, the space requirements, because I go vertical too. But this is one of the ones I was telling you about. Let me see if I can get it. Oh, it's so yummy. Look at that yumminess. Do you guys like fresh peas? I sure do. I have this archway. This side is looking really good on it. And this side has not grown anything. But I do have beans that will come up. Look at these thornless raspberries. I'll try to put the variety on the screen. So yummy. These can be raspberries. So there's the plants right behind me, thornless. They are so sweet. Mm, I like those. I think they taste better than the Boyne, B-O-Y-N-E. Those ones are a little more tart. Mm. I put the can be in the front because they're nearly thornless and they are so sweet. Look at the stalk. Let's get out of the sun. This one has the most, you see that, thorns on it? But a lot of the stalks, they're just really nice. Yummy berries. I would suggest this one to anyone. It's nice. I still like the yellow ones the very best. I don't know if that one's ready yet. I want to pick it. So this is Camby, like candy, Camby. So I got these beds for $5, and I think I really like them. I'm enjoying these raised beds. They're not sharp. They're not sharp. And they're, they were only $5 on KSL, and I think I'm going to put them all over because the raised beds are just so much easier to grow in. And it's easier on my back, too. So this section has tomatoes on this side growing up. And then I've got a fence that goes all the way down. And I wanted to utilize it even better, but that's what I have so far. And then on these beds over here, more beans. There's the other side of that trellis. All the way in the back, I have lots of flowers, but I also have um, raspberries. Look at those raspberries. We'll go find those in a minute. So this bed needs to be filled up. I think I'm gonna put a whole bunch of mulch, but there's got a lot of tomatoes in here. Mint. Got some tomatoes on that side. And see this trellis? It's not being utilized at all. more raspberries. Yum. Yummy raspberries. Iris. 
be bomb. Lots of weeds. This whole section over here needs a lot of help, but look at that view. So that trellis is halfway filled, and I really wanted this trellis up here to be filled, but maybe next year. I have two pear trees. I've never gotten a pear on either of them, so I'll have to learn more about that. Okay, let's go look over here. We got mint, tomatoes galore. When they start producing, then I can start telling you varieties. I have some peppers in pots along the fence over here. I need to redo that pot because nothing came out. They used to be strawberries. Here's some strawberries. And they kind of their runners took off over here. I saw a red one. Where are you? Maybe I ate them already. And then I have this makeshift fence right here. I've got to utilize these vertical spots a lot better this year. I've got beans back here. More raspberries. Do I have any of these raspberries ready? I have some fever few that I would like to go all throughout this bed. This is for Cynthia Bush. Nope, no raspberries on that one. Those raspberries over there are my favorite. So let's see if we can get any. Let's see if there's any ready. These are the gold, the gold raspberries. And I planted them two years ago and it's taken them a little bit. But honestly, the best tasting fruit ever. I'm gonna get my husband to try them. No, they are pure candy. Absolute pure candy. Have you tried those? They're pretty amazing. Let's see if we have any more in here. Oh, right there. I want to give that to my husband. You know that's love because I could easily eat that. This section needs lots of help, but I have some peach trees right here. This is one peach tree. These are blackberries. We've got some squash back here, another peach tree. I have a couple peaches on it. There's another peach tree. We're gonna go through the peach tree, squashes on the bottom. These right here are Roma tomatoes, and then those are indeterminates. But it was really dumb of me to put Romas <laughs> right here because they don't even climb. Here's the blackberries that are taking over and they are so good. These pots need to be moved or filled. Look at the mint. Smart, huh? And then I have two trellises here full of tomatoes. And then there's flowers and weeds, and bushes. Look at that gorgeous mountain view. Lots of wood chips. My family helped me bring these down. It's very kind of them. That bed right there is doing the best of all of them. It's very fun. Pots along this side. Raspberries. So fun. I love it. I love my food forest and putting more perennials back here is awesome because I have berries and peaches. I want to put some asparagus back here too. I've got to plant, plant asparagus, but it's not really fancy, but it is wonderful. It gives us food and it makes me happy to be back here. What is that? It looks like some sort of squash. But look at those flowers. Anybody know what this is? I don't have a tag on it. This is not the food forest. This is right off my driveway. 
but these are called raspberry shortcake and they're very good and they stay kind of small and mounded so yummy so the fruit is still loaded and they still spread like a raspberry but they're very mounded and small bushes very manageable And they're really good still. I I would recommend this one too. Raspberry shortcake. Yum. I think this is a sun sugar. <laughs> Yummy! have had such hot weather that the peas are starting to get crispy but some of the beans that are starting to climb hopefully will take over this space any of the peas that I have to pull will go to the chickens and the rabbits but we're still getting quite a few of them two up there. I don't think I can reach those from here. I don't see any raspberries on the meeker yet. But these ones over here I think are heritage. I don't see the tag. Let's try one of those. A little more bitter. So these raspberries that I picked way premature and ate that were really really tart. I can't find the tag anywhere but I'm pretty sure they're heritage. Let me go that way away from the sun a little bit more to taste them. They're good but they're way tart compared to things like the Camby or the small raspberry shortcake in the front yard. They're still really good. They're big size berries. They turn a little more darker. I still think they're heritage. I will look that up and try to find the tag and try to do some research on them. But they're good. I don't think they're my favorite. There's the raspberries. And then here's the plants. There's lots of weeds in this pl these plants, but they get pretty good size. They are pretty prickly. Not, I mean, compared to some of them, I guess they're not horrible. But the ones next to them are called Meeker, and I've only tasted one of them, so they must be a really late raspberry. And the Heritage are kind of middle. Like, they're not an early raspberry, but they're more a mid-season. I love coming to my food forest and snacking. So I got my first bean today. And one of my last peas and then in that handful if you can see it all some raspberries 
So I love it out here. It is full sun, but let me t do a turnaround here. I am making little shade pockets from all the things that I keep putting in here and letting grow. And then I'll circle around one more time and we'll end right here with the galvanized trough that I got for free off KSL. It's kind of like a Facebook marketplace online where people give things away for free. But I really hope you enjoyed my early summer July tour of my food forest. We mostly have had peas and raspberries and some kale and some veggies up front. But I will show you more as the tomatoes start producing. I got my first tomato from the front yard. It was a sun gold cherry. Yum. And I got one orange russellini and it was a cherry tomato and I didn't like it very much and I don't know if it was labeled right because I thought that was more of a pear shape. Anyway, keep following. Bye!